Mr. Scruffy. I don't see you when you're sitting in that corner. So I'm early. So we're actually a couple minutes before our early time. I'm going to try to go for a run afterwards. That's a different meow. How you doing, Scruffy? That's a little more normal. <clears throat> so I have party cuts with real chicken and beef and kibble. See any more cockroaches? Those are raspy meows. Okay. <clears throat> okay, put the food on the table. Try to get the glove on from over here. Weather's still kind of hot, but yeah, cooler than yesterday. So I was thinking, kind of actually wanted to go out for a bike ride earlier, but yeah, it's still too hot. <clears throat> and I felt that if I'm going to wait till after I feed Scruffy, I'm probably better off doing a run than a bike ride. So the problem with my bike rides are they take longer. And I'm not feeding Scruffy uh, early enough such that I can uh, get back before there's darkness. <clears throat> I'll be uh, biking in the dark. Maybe if I feed Scruffy a little. Oops, where's Scruffy going? a little earlier or spend less time feeding him. Maybe I could uh, make it. I also hate being rushed like that. Even my runs are a little bit on the edge, but <clears throat> the park where I run is much closer, so if I'm walking home in the dark, it's not too bad. Running in the dark, though, it doesn't work too well. Might trip over something. Or run into something. <clears throat> but there's just enough light. It's, uh, after sunset, so when my runs go a little long, they, I still have enough sunlight so I can see things. But the problem with the bike rides are uh, they're getting a little, um, um, yeah, my routes are getting a little longer, and and then the time it takes to <clears throat> get the bicycle out and then put it away, and then if there are any problems, if I have any uh, mechanical issues or detours or something that delays me. Um, since uh, where I ride is kind of far, it just um, increases the likelihood or chance that I'd have to ride in the dark. Let's grab the glove.
<clears throat> so my plan is to try to run tonight. And then maybe I'll try to bike ride tomorrow. Maybe the weather will be a little nicer. I think it's going to be the same. So since I didn't go out yesterday and I was recovering from my uh, day before, I figured maybe a run. I'm rested enough I can do a run. See how hot it is. It's still a little hot right now. By the time I finished here with Scruffy, there's a chance that it could be reasonable. Top of the head tonight. <clears throat> so let's see. I accomplished nothing with uh, in regards to the refrigerator. So completely ignored it today. Started making ice again just because it's working well enough that. If the, you know, the ice melts, who cares? But, um, so I'm trying to refill my uh, ice con or, uh, thermoses with ice since it's starting to run low. But honestly, since I cleared out the freezer, I actually have enough space I could turn on the ice maker, put the ice maker back in, and turn it on. Maybe I should do that. And then I'll have plenty of ice. I actually miss having the ice maker. It's such a nice convenience. And I've been using a lot more ice since it's gotten hot. Oh, those birds. Chirping almost sounds electronic. So, looks like Scrubby has a dangling piece of shedding fur there on this side. I'm surprised at how long it takes Scruffy to shed his winter coat. Because we're in the summer now and it's been hot. Seems like uh, shedding it sooner would make more sense. Okay, I think I'm gonna get Scruffy's food now. Sound good, Scruffy? Want your food? Trying to get the leaves off of his tail. They were there yesterday. But yeah, it's hard to brush his, brush his tail. It's, 
kind of defensive. But sometimes he sticks up his butt and then his tail goes up. But I can only crush the top of his tail that way. I can't get behind it. And the leaves are kind of behind it. So can, I, can I get that loud? Loose piece of fur? No, it's still hanging in there. Okay, guess it's not going to come out today. <clears throat> so, let's see. Yeah, I didn't see Scruffy this morning. Came out for lunch with the water. He was sleeping in the aisle again on the blue blanket. He looked tired. Didn't look like he wanted to move. But, as usual, he's waiting for me to go back inside. So the moment I went back inside, then he got up immediately and came over to the water. But he ended up looking at the water for a while and not drinking it. Sort of like, uh, I think the past day or two. So I'm kind of suspicious of the water, I think. Or maybe he's just not that thirsty. The other thing that surprised me was he took a short drink finally, but after his short drink, he immediately walked over to the door, um, slipping through the door. I always think that's weird, because if you want it to interact with me, you can come over when I first come out, but he actually waits for me to go back inside. So he actually explicitly waits for me to leave, and then he comes over to the door. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I don't know what he expects me to do. Um, it's usually if I, uh, when he's near the door and I open it, he'll hiss. So I just closed the blinds and went on with my day. To the stock market's been really erratic, kind of say choppy for the last couple months or a few months. Yeah, nothing. It's been on a general downtrend, but it's not like a straight downtrend. It seems to you know kind of goes up one day, goes down the next day, goes up the next day, goes down the next day, and it keeps doing that. <clears throat> and then suddenly there's a big drop, and then it goes back up a little bit more, and then it kind of just repeats that pattern. And um, um, in retrospect, I had a suspicion that uh, the market wouldn't do well once the Federal Reserve uh, indicated they were going to tighten, and I should have also known, or I, I also should have acted on the fact that I knew that Congress was basically uh, now gridlocked, and uh, they probably weren't going to be passing more stimulus bills, which the, the market really likes. And so uh, <clears throat> I'm basically putting it together, it makes sense that the, the market's uh, kind of reverting back to the mean. So I should have been more uh, proactive in building hedges or selling, selling at the top. I wasn't. Um, I did build some hedges, so I haven't lost everything, but uh, because the market's been on such a slow downturn, yeah, the hedges 
are not actually working that well because I'm getting eaten alive on uh, time decay. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the past few, I don't know. It's been choppy for that, yeah, even for the past few weeks. I keep kind of expecting a bear market rally, and my goal has been to either sell into the rally or start putting on some uh, more hedges or collars. And so today actually was, uh, the past few days actually there's been um, some up movement. We haven't really had a lot of up movement recently, and so this is I think the first time we've seen a short trend of uh, up movement. And today was actually a pretty, uh, relatively speaking, positive day in the market. And so I started uh, building more callers and a couple of my uh, index ETFs because I'm kind of still predicting uh, the overall macro environment hasn't changed so there's really no reason for the market to rebound so trying to get a little more defensive and prepare for a bad case if it happens and then if the callers, if I'm wrong, then it just means I sell too early, but oh well. And then move the balls. <clears throat> but yeah, my, my feeling is I'm not seeing any reason for the market to rebound right now. Because policy wise, nothing's changed. So, the same things everyone's been afraid about, you know, it's still in play, nothing's changed, but, uh, I could be wrong. Take some of that money and probably buy some eye bonds. Okay, folks, looks like Scruffy's done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.